just want to talk about what I've just written uh, on my website uh, about the um, British um, um, UK Parliament, the Upper House, and uh, the fact that uh, Maori hapu have still got a legal connection uh, as the landlords, landowners of New Zealand country. Uh, and that has not changed since the British came here and um, um, had uh, their um, their negotiation treaties with uh, with Māori hapu up at Waitangi. Um, in that time, um, the land was already sold. By the time the British came here, the Australian uh, New Zealand Company uh, of New South Wales was selling land left, right and centre. They didn't have the authority to do that from Britain, who issued them the authority to search out for land for their their um, convicts uh, that that have, uh, were extradited out of uh, uh, Britain, and so they uh, started off in that fashion, uh, taking land uh, uh, of the Aborigines in Australia, the original people, uh, and also they ventured over here to New Zealand and started doing it to the Maoris, and so we have issues about that and how they acquired the land and put their own titles on it uh, here and in uh, around about the 1830s uh, that's what happened uh, when uh, when land was was being sold um, by Ngāpui tribes uh, in the north mainly and uh, when the times of the war uh, there was the Manukau tribesmen they were the biggest tribe in those times as far as I know in uh, the history of Mohi Manukau that's him here in the photo there you see that's on one top on top of One Tree Hill, Maunga Kia Kia in Auckland. Now this man here has died uh, um, uh, at uh, 96, uh, uh, so he says. Uh, in that case, he's a uh, paramount in his own right uh, to have claimed that his ancestors were buried on top of that uh, hill there, overlooking Auckland. And I'm here to write his history. And I put together the uh, plaque here uh, of Kafuru the Giant, that uh, I took the history from Mohi Manukau uh, to uh, show that um, the um, the chief of those times was Kafuru the Giant, and you can read close up. You can see um, uh, that I've got Na Tuai e Wa uh, there, the name of the um, um, country of New Zealand and Pacific Islands um, of the um, Pacific Rim. Uh, that's a third of the uh, the coverage of the um, uh, Pacific Ocean uh, discovery by uh, by all our um, ancestors, and one of them being Moai um, um, uh, chief Mo, and that's a history I I don't have to explain. I've done that enough, and so what we have here is is um, uh, the connections to Britain of the Manukau Land Company, which is a Scottish company, real estate company, by the way. Uh, who sold the land here in Auckland uh, from from uh, uh, Scotland and they were acting on Ireland, Scotland, Wales and England. At that time they were in charge of the land titles whereas England is in charge of the law. And so I'm doing both of those uh, roles, being myself a, a Scottish or a Irish uh, descent on the white side, uh, but my indigenous side, which is Wānoa, comes from Rapa Nui, and also from East Ireland, um, being the builders of those big moais, that my family, my, my own blood, 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 blood family, who put those moais together. So that's significant in the history of Manukau, uh, Pupanga Manukau, Moriori Pupanga Manukau, uh, tribesmen here in Auckland, and also Wanoa on the East Cape. Uh, so those two names, the British went straight for them, uh, because they had strong blood links to the land, and so they used that history. Uh, for their own advantage, uh, but nevertheless we still never sold any of the land and I want to see anybody in this country and including the British who can show me uh, any signature with one or name on it signed the land away or Manukau for that matter. Uh, so um, Refere for Manukau was the chief of those times and uh, he uh, he was uh, hiding away from from the, the British forces and also from Ngāpui at the time they wanted his scalp, so they locked him up on Kawa Island, and he escaped and swam back to the land. So those are just the stories, but the names in question here is that the land here in Auckland was second-hand titles that the uh, the um, Australian company, all their titles were rescinded, 
uh, to and confiscated by the British um, um, Crown, and uh, their real estate company uh, took them and used those same titles uh, um, sold from the Bay of Islands to sell the land in Auckland, and so they had no right to do that uh, without uh, without identifying the, the the target tribe and landowner. And so uh, before before anything happened here, the British didn't want any, a bar of land being sold here by the Australian New Zealand Company. Uh, and so they said, buyers beware. You buy at your own risk from the natives. And that still stands today because the um, New Zealand Company is still uh, um, usurping the sovereignty of the Queen as a head of state here. And she, she don't own no land here. She's never signed no land here. And uh, it's against our customs in, in, in Maori, in tikanga Maori uh, law, which comes from Tahiri, uh, uh, Raiati Island, where I come from, uh, my, my ancestors, the Wanoa people. That law is sacred, uh, sacrosanct to us, uh, the indigenous people here. And the government cannot use that for its own use. It uses Maoris. Every time they want to go to England, they'll always try to take a Maori, or anywhere they go to the UN, they take a Maori or send a Maori with the, to go and talk on their behalf. So really, they're just masking themselves around us. That's what they did when they first came here. They actually took images of our title, then made their own titles, which is what you see now in the uh, uh, land information titles. Those are only occupation titles. They're only here uh, uh, as paper title. They're not the real title. I'm telling you right now uh, that we have legitimate claim to this land. And anybody can stand up and put the affidavit in front of me, or all those what you see on my, my website. I want anybody to, to front up uh, uh, and put the affidavit and swear anything better than that of the title of this country, including the British, including the Queen, including any Maori or any Pacific Islander. I, I want you to put your claim and your statue or whatever in, in front of Moai. He's around the world all over the place, but I want you to do the same thing. If you want to, if you don't, then claim the Moai yourself if you're on the bloodlines and you've got a DNA to that. I, I have no problem with that because all our Pacific people come from that Moai and uh, I'm no, not, not going to hold back uh, on that matter either. So I just want to um, explain, oh, this uh, thing has gone away and disappeared, uh, hang on, uh, that um, uh, we have a, a, a um, oh, um, we have a, here we go, uh, we have a um, um, legitimate case here uh, of um, claim in the UK Supreme Court, uh, a class action case against the government in Wellington who have, um, uh, screwed us really, and the Pacific people, and the Maori people especially, of the land. They might say, oh, they married uh, uh, this and that, but they, they really got a raw deal out of it, but that was an illegal deal in the first place of la land uh, transaction. You can't do that these days and say, I'm going to give you uh, 50, uh, uh, 20 or 10, 5 percent, and we'll settle on that, uh, and, and that's it, without someone not being happy about, the, about their, that claim. So they never identified how much how much Maori was going to get out of it, or any end date. They got no end date to their contract, and that's illegal too in contract law. Uh, the Treaty of Waitangi has no end date uh, to it. So um, like Hong Kong, it went back uh, uh, here. It's, it's, not, an, an, it's not identified, so that's really wrong too. So I'm, I'm going to have to write, uh, write to the um, UK uh, upper house and, and explain to them. They'll know already that uh, the Wainoa name and, and the Manukau name features uh, very high on their on their titles there in the first place. And those are the only two names I know. If anybody else has got a name here that they used in the in uh, forming titles to sell these uh, sell these lands, then let me know. The names of uh, uh, Tinana and, and and Tamaki and and uh, uh, Tuhaire, those are Manapui. They're not the real owners of these land because uh, because at that time. The British sold the land. Those were the ones that the New Zealand Company in Australia sold that one. That got confiscated. I'm going to tell you right now, they are wrong titles. The Crown in Wellington picked the wrong people and the wrong landowners. So all your titles are illegal. They're fraud and corrupted. And so I'm just telling you, the British have the right title, and they're the ones that still have authority of this land, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's not ended yet. And so uh, they, they can... Uh, um, 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 identify uh, who the rightful landowner is and, and the government in Wellington, they only were given the job of governing and making law. Well, they made the law to suit themselves. Now, I have a law, I have a law, the Moai law, the Maori law, the Hapu law, to suit ourselves, 
right? I'll tell you that now because we have a right to under Section 71 of the UK Constitution. You've got your own new, uh, Constitution here in uh, New Zealand Government, 1986. You altered that one in the UK, so it's illegal anyway, So, but that's yours. Don't go and change it. You change it to you, and you change all, altered all the Treaty of Waitangi principles. You can't do that. You're not allowed to do that, legislate something that's already been set in place. The sovereignty was given to Maoris, us, in the first place, 1835. You can't go and make another one because you have to start all over again. Impossible for you to try and get a history bigger than this one, right? The Maori history. You can't go any further than that. So it's pointless, you, John Key, going to make another sovereignty in this country or making it independent. It was independent in 19, or 1835. The King William, he was the rightful uh, uh, monarchy at that time. And the Queen come along and took over the monarchy. He's wrong. The George line, no, 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 no. That took down the, the, the female line. The British is down the male line. Be that DNA? paternal DNA, male line. That's, that's how the British work. Well, when this government here went in Wellington, they put it down the maternal side, down the female side, so they can transfer the land. That's wrong, right? I got you there, and I'm going to make sure I'll flip it around the other way, Mr. John Key, and uh, and uh, Mr. Uh, Chris Fellinson, the Attorney General. You're the crook too, both of you. One for the blind trust, John Key, blind trust, one over here and one overseas. That's how you fellows do it. I know how you fellows Parky is doing it because I've got a bit of Parky on me too. So, I'm going to tell you, once again, you fellows crooked us and you crooked the people of New Zealand. So, I want the people to see, to get that all back off you and you fellows will get you out and put some more New Zealanders in there to run the place. So, I just warn you, I have to go to the UK and sort us out because you can't, John Key, you're not a Maori. Only Maori can sort that out, not you. You're just an uh, immigrant. And you're lucky to be standing on this land because you haven't got a God good enough that looks after this land properly. You go and wreck it and poke holes in it and blow the, blow the place up. That's what you do, just to get your wealth for yourself. No wonder it's shaking uh, around the earth it's upset. And you upset my God, my earth God. Uh, that's why he's shaking the place. He haven't finished yet. And so until, uh, until he finishes, then he'll wake your ideas up and, and give you a shake around a bit. So that's what I'm saying. With all this history stuff, it's just not nothing. We have our history, you have yours. You came from over there, you came and lived with us. We didn't go over there and terrorize you fellas. You fellas come here and terrorize us. Right? I'm telling you the truth. I don't want to, I don't want to muck around uh, anymore because time is running out for you fellas. And we, we're all right. We, we know where we stand. But it's you fellas that got to prove to me which pieces of land you're going to sit on because you're trying to tell us to stand and tell, tell you which pieces of land we can claim. No, 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 no. You got all that one wrong. And you're going to 1840. No, we go past there. We was here before that. Why are you going to 1840? Because you can't prove it. That's why. You can't prove title to these lands. I'm telling the whole wide world and on, uh, on Facebook that you fellows have got it horribly wrong. You picked the wrong people to sell this land to and, and, uh, and you've taken advantage of the people of New Zealand and also the UK government. Yes, you took over your own self, changed their constitution with me and my indigenous Maori people, and you stuck your own in, and you you spited Prince William when he came here to to open your Supreme Court, and it didn't even honour King William, who gave us our freedom and our independence, our sovereign state, sovereignty, recognize our sovereignty and gave us protection from the UK. You used all that protection for yourselves, sold all our aircraft, and then you, you, now you want to make this a republic, Helen Clark. Excuse me, where are you now? You get promoted, you get dumped from here, nobody wants you to run this country because you can't trust you. Now, John Key, you're the same, can't trust you. I can never trust you, what you did to, to Maoris, I never trust you anymore in this country. You're lucky to be here, you know, otherwise I'll ship you out back where you come from, in Jew land, right? The Jews, are doing bad with, 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 the, with the Vatican, bad with the, with the church, pedophiles and all this sort of thing, crap, God, that's all over the world, and your sins, you're going go to go to repent your sins in the church. I don't have to go to church, right? I've got him up there, God straight here. We had him all the time. We didn't have churches, Bibles, anything like that. We just have straight answers and truth. None of this crap bullshit.